Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 3 career mode. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. This is part number 67 of the career mode, and it is time for this video to start the round of 12. It's going to be Dover and Talladega in this video. Now, I do want to apologize in the last part that the video was a little bit differently for a reason. I did mention this in the last part. The live commentary never picked up in the Richmond race, but it did at the Charlotte Roval race. So, my bad on that. Don't know what happened there, but I at least I did commentary to talk about the Richmond race still. So, anyways, so I did bad at Richmond, and then I won at the Charlotte Roval. I am in the round of 12 now, and guess what? Good news. I'm going to start the round of 12 in first place, only by two points over Kevin Harvick. Uh, so, uh, eliminated from the playoffs is Denny Hamlin, Eric Amarola, Clint Boyer, and I Ryan Newman. Yeah, it's Ryan Newman because uh, Ryan Newman was in the playoffs and so he's not here. I don't know why it doesn't show. only shows 15 and you can't see the 16th one. So in the round of 12 is me, Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, Joey Legal, Kurt Busch, Martin Trix Jr., Kyle Larson, Daniel Suarez, Paul Menard, Ryan Blaney, and Jimmy Johnson. Of course, Suarez, Menard, Blaney, and Johnson is going to start below. But they got three races to... Uh, get back into that top 12. So, in the round 12, it is Dover, Talladega, and um, Kansas. But we're only going to do Dover and Talladega today. So, let's get on into the race. Let me show you the crew most things, just to remind you what they are like. There they are on the screen right now. Why is the? Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. It's always been at 13%. I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, that's the settings here. Uh, so, next race, Dover, um, the first race in the round of 12. Uh, I need to get three more top five finishes. Um, let's just get this race on the way. I could get 271 grand to win the race. Let me get on the qualifying here at the Monster Mile and see what'll we'll start. Off turn number four, gonna complete qualifying here at the Monster Mile. Let's see what it's gonna be. 12th place, not too bad. Kinda wish I was on the inside lane actually, but uh, that's not too bad at all. Um, see who got the pole for this race. That would be Kevin Harvick. And am I going to move up? Nope. Going to still start 12. So let's get this race here at the Monster Mile underway. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoffs picks up in Dover, Delaware. This race marks the beginning of the round of 12 after four drivers were eliminated in Charlotte last week. If those remaining 12 wish to move on, they'll have to conquer the formidable Monster Mile. A concrete oval with 24 degrees of banking in the turns and 9 degrees of banking in the straights. The drivers are ready. Miles the Monster is ready. So pull up a chair. NASCAR Playoff Racing is coming up next. All right, here we go racing here at the Monster Mile. Kevin Harvick will start in the pole. I start 12th. And here we go. The round of 12th is about to begin. We are underway here at the Monster Mile. Well, that got tight in the very first corner. Going to complete the first lap, though. Now I find myself to the bottom lane. This is where I kind of want to be all race long, is try to be at the bottom lane as much as possible today. If Logano doesn't come down. Oh, my God, we're three wide. Me, Logano, and uh, Larson. Ooh, it's tight here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 14 laps in stage number one. All right, it looks like he's going to settle down for a little bit, which that's good. Trying to get by Joey Logano for the 11th spot. Now I'm right behind Amarola to try to get into that top 10 very soon. Here we go. I'm going to get my nose underneath Amarola here for top 10 spot. I'm going up the track. Oh, man. And, oh, I am going to get by Eric Amarola. Now it looks like I'm underneath the... Uh, Clint Boyer for that ninth spot. Oh, man. Almost clipped that apron. Did not, but I'm underneath Boyer now. Right behind Amendinger as well. Amendinger qualified well. Not too bad. Oh, I barely got in the back of him. Wow, he got sideways. Okay, still trying to get by 
Clint Boyer as we got 10 laps to go in stage number one. And there we go, around Clint Boyer I go. Now I got a run on AJ Allmendinger, and now I'm gonna get underneath him for the eighth spot. All right, around AJ Allmendinger for the eighth spot. Underneath uh, McMurray, again for the seventh spot. See if I could get around him fine this time. Very tight off the corner. Five laps to go in stage number one, and I do get around Jamie McMurray for the seventh spot. Final lap of stage number one. I'm still riding in seventh. I'm right behind Jimmy Johnson. I got Kyle Busch, and I can't tell who's this up here in fourth. Uh, no, I can't really tell who that is. But I'm right behind Jimmy Johnson stuff. Don't no, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to make a move on him. So it looks like I'm going to finish up 7th in the stage. That's not too bad. You know what? That was a good first stage. Not too bad. What's good is that I'm going to restart in the inside lane, too. Um, oh, that was Kurt Busch in 4th. Uh, Kevin Harvick won stage number 1. When did I get 2 seconds of estimated repairs? Wow, alright. Whatever, I'm not going to pit for that. Alright, guys, watch this restart because round uh, stage number 2, I should say, is about to begin. Kevin Harvick, the race lead. I'm going to restart seventh. And here we go. Green flag back in the air. Wow, what a restart. Look at this. I'm going to go from seventh to the race lead. And three wide behind me. Look at Chase Elliott going for the second spot on Kevin Harvick. Wow. What a restart I got. It would be nice to win this race to get myself locked into the round eight so I don't have to worry about Talladega and Kansas. Ah, damn it. I went into the corner a little bit too high than what I've done in the last several laps and Chase Elliott got underneath me to take the race lead. I'm just going to let him have it because uh, I'm not going to get that run on him on the outside lane. So I'm going to tuck up behind Chase Elliott and then uh, right in front of Kyle Busch. Maybe I'll have a chance to go back for the race lead on Chase Elliott. We will see. Just went a little high in 3 and 4 and kind of screwed me there. Final lap of stage number 2. And I'm still right there with Chase Elliott. I would like to win a stage to get a playoff point, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen unless I get a run down the back straightaway, which doesn't look like I am. Kind of a shame. I felt like I was going to be able to win the stage. I was holding off Chase Elliott pretty well until I went a little high in 3 and 4. Just a little mistake like that and it cost me a stage win. But I'm still going to finish second in the stage. Still a good amount of points. Nine points there. Chase Elliott wins stage number two. Tell you what, I'm pretty about even with these guys. Um, it's going to be 19 laps to go to finish off this race. So let's have another good restart. And let's go on to win this race. If I can keep the car on the bottom lane like I've done for the most part. Except for that one lap. Alright, final stage about to begin. Here we go. The green flag back in the air. What a great restart. Nice restart. I know they're going to catch back up to me. Here they come. Chase Elliott, who's not in the playoffs, is doing pretty well, trying to steal a win from me. But we're going to have 18 laps to go this time by here at the Marshmallow. Let's see if I can hold him off. 10 laps to go here at the Marshmallow. I'm still holding off uh, Chase Elliott. Also holding off Kyle Busch as well. Now fourth on back is a second half back. So I really don't have to worry about them too much. As at least it's not like a huge pack behind me. Uh, but Chase Elliott and Kyle Busch, they're doing a good job staying with me. Uh, trying to pressure me to make a mistake. But so far I've been doing pretty well at holding them off. So hopefully I can do that for nine more laps. And then if I win this race, I can punch a ticket into the round of eight. Don't have to worry about Talladega and Kansas. That would be really nice. So we'll see if I can hold these guys off. Keep my car in the bottom lane. Don't let them get underneath me, and then I'll be okay. Final lap here at the Monster Mile. Can I punch my ticket into the round of eight? I'm trying so hard to hold off Chase Elliott and Kyle Busch right now. Doing a really good job at it. Down the back straightaway for the final time. I just need to get through one more corner. I got it. I got it. I nailed that corner. Coming off turn number four, I have punched my ticket into the round of A with the win at the Monster Mile. Yes. Mmm. 
Just like how I started in the round of 16, punched my ticket in the round of 12, did the same thing here. Just punched my ticket into the round of 8. So now I don't have to worry about Talladega in Kansas. All right. Nice. I tell you what, that was intense. I mean, they, the last 19 laps, I was doing my best to hold off uh, Kyle Busch and uh, Chase Elliott. It was ridiculous. It was a lot. They put a lot of pressure on me, but I was trying to stay as calm as possible. Oh, man. Nice. Monster Mile treated me well. Right on. We're into the next round already, guys. I don't have to worry about the next two races in this round. Whoa. Yep, advanced. Right on. Looking outside right now is Jimmy Johnson, Daniel Suarez, Ryan Blaney, and Paul Menard. Uh, Paul Menard really looking to be in trouble. Oh, that was, that was intense. Like, that final stage, I was flawless. Like, I didn't even make any mistakes at all. I just nailed my corners. But then I'm like, please don't screw it up on the final lap. You know what I mean? And I didn't. It was good, guys. Oof. Good race. Good race. Um, basically, once I got the lead, I kind of dominated. I mean, I kind of choked away the stage two win. Went a little high in three and four. Chase Elliott got by me. But it's all right. Um, you know, that's not what really matters. What matters is locking yourself into the next round, and I did just that. So, I need two more top five finishes as well. All right, guys. Um, there you go, Austin Dillon. What an incredible finish. Nice win. That was a super awesome close finish. Nice. I barely touched you, Almendinger, really. I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't take him out either. I'm going to provoke that one because that's false there. I didn't take him out, and I barely touched him. And then this was probably obviously the first lap. I don't know. I'll just apologize about that one because I dig into him. But, like, Almendinger, come on. All right, guys, next race is going to be Talladega. Let's head to it. I've put out feelers to a few teams to gotten some responses. Yeah, let's look at teams. Um, let's see. I mean, well, we so far done Stuart Haas, Rich Pay Most Sports, Hendrick, Ganassi. Let's see. Um, let's do Team Penske for this one. You know, I got five contract offers, four of them are five star team. But if I do decide to do another season, I'm going to do the custom car. Uh, run my own team, I should say. All right, so winning this race is 298 grand. Last time I was at Talladega, I only went from starting last to only get up to uh, to uh, top 15 finish. But that was without – I did that other Talladega race with without the custom setup, so maybe it will be different. I need two more top five finishes. If I don't get a top five finish here in this Talladega race, I lose 798 grand. By the way, I have six wins this season. Nice. All right, let's get on into Talladega. Let me get on the qualifying and see where we'll start. Into the tri -oval right now. Going to complete qualifying here at Talladega Super Speedway. Let's see where it's going to be. And 25th. Not bad. I qualified dead last year, last time. But, you know, custom setup somewhat helps a bit. 25th, not too bad. Kyle Busch gets the pole. Uh, looks like 24, of course. Outside lane, right? Don't put me on the bottom lane, I guess. Let's get this Talladega race underway, and let's go out and win it. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series makes its final stop at Talladega Super Speedway for the running of the 1000Bulbs.com 500. The playoffs are in full swing, and for those drivers in the chase, a win today at NASCAR's longest track would clinch a spot in the next round. However, taking a checkered here is much easier said than done. This relatively wide track allows cars to run three, four, and sometimes five wide. But that kind of close quarter racing is a sure fire recipe for the big one. Which of these drivers will steer clear of trouble and visit victory lane? Let's head down to the track and find out. NASCAR racing is coming up next. 
So Kyle Busch was starting the poll, but um, can, before we before we get started here, did you guys that intro? There were cli clips in there from like 2010, 2011 era. You got you saw that right? There it was the old car, the Morrow car. Where where's the 2017 or 2018 spring race Talladega version of Talladega races? I what? That made no sense. I, I don't know about that one, 704 games, but that's the first time I've noticed. I bet a lot of you have that's played the career mode before has noticed that, but that's ridiculous. Anyways, let's get this race here at Talladega underway. Starting 25th, here we go. The green flag is in the air. We are underway here at Talladega. Into the tribal right now to complete the first lap. I tell you what, what a great first lap this was for me. Already up into the top 15 as we complete the first lap. Look at this, four wide maybe? No. You know, I know I've already won a race in the round of 12, and I'm advanced into the round of eight, but you know what? I still want to go out, th out here and win this race. Try to keep the other playoff drivers from punching in the ticket yet to make it into the next round like Kyle Busch. Uh, six laps in stage number one. I'm going to try to make a move here. Look at this. Four wide. That was a move. Tell you what, my car's fast right now. I got a fast car. This is good right now. I'm liking this car. Second lap completed underneath Kurt Busch and Bubba Wallace. Try to gain more spots. I tell you what, this car is fast with the custom because the first Talladega race I did here um, earlier in the season. Jesus, look at this run I just got. My goodness. Like, like I said, I started dead last and only got up to the top 15. But, man, if I had a custom set up back. To, holy crap, look at this run. I mean, Stenhouse is up here. Harvick's up here. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm flying. I wonder what it's going to be like once I do lead this race. Am I going to have a fast car like this? I mean, look at this run in the draft. Look how fast this car is. Three laps to go in stage number one. I'm on the outside of Kevin Harvick for the race lead. Maybe try to keep Kevin Harvick away from punching a ticket yet into the round of eight. If I get in this draft and get a run on him, I can get underneath him. Here we go. For the lead here at Talladega. Underneath Kevin Harvick. And I'm going to clear Harvick for that race lead. And here comes Jimmy Johnson for that second spot. As we're coming to two laps to go in stage number one. Final lap in stage number one. I still have to race lead. I got Ryan Newman behind me on the inside lane. Jimmy Johnson on the outside lane. Now remember, Ryan Newman was eliminated from the playoffs after the round of 16. He's still trying to go out here get some wins. Trying to block both lanes right now as well. Ooh, almost let Ryan Newman on that bottom lane. You got Joey Logano there. Stenhouse is back there as well. But so far, so good. I mean, this car is fast up front, too. I mean, these guys would be able to catch up to me because they're in my draft, but this car is hanging pretty well up front. But here we come down into the trival. And I am going to win stage number one here at Talladega. Started 24th to go from 24th to 1st in 6 laps. 
can really do that, Talladega. All right, that was a good first round. Let's, uh... Wait, let me see. It's going to be 15 laps to go when we start the next stage. Um, we're going to be the race leader with Ryan Newman to the, my outside lane. And here we go, guys. Green flag back in the air. Look at the restart I get. Getting up through the gears. They're going to gain on me, though. I have too big of a lead. They're going to gain on me. I mean, th this is not what you want to do at Talladega. Daytona as well. Get a big lead like this and let them get a run on you. Here they come. They're going to have a run. Which way is Jimmy Johnson going to go? He's going to stay right behind me. There's Austin Dillon coming into the picture. Him and Chase Elliott are also in top five. Me and Jimmy Johnson are the only playoff drivers that are in the top five right now. Austin Dillon to the outside lane. Trying to hold him off. Trying to hold off both lanes right now. So far, so good. Six laps in stage number two. Five laps to go in stage number two. Final lap in stage number two. I'm still holding off everybody behind me. I got Jimmy Johnson on the inside. Ricky Stenhouse on the outside. You also got Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin in the top five. But this car is really strong out front. Like, these guys haven't been really getting, haven't really gotten any big runs on me. I've been able to block both lanes really well. So far, so good, guys. I mean, I can go out and win this race as well. What would you call this right now? The round of 12 dominance so far? That's what it's basically called right now. But here we come off turn number four. We're going to head towards the trioval, and we should be the, good to go to win stage number two. Hold off the guys behind me, and yep, stage two winner here at Talladega. So there's 20 points. There's two playoff points there. That's awesome. It's a good car, guys. Going to have eight laps to go on the restart, guys. Here we go. It's time to finish off this race. Me and Jimmy Johnson on the front row. I'm going to restart as the race leader. And here we go here at Talladega, the final, the final stage. Green flag back in the air. Ten laps to go here at Talladega. Oh my goodness, wow. Kevin Harvick had a run behind me and I tried to block it and all of a sudden Denny Hamlin just barely made the move. And look at this, I'm dropping. Me and Kevin Harvick and whoever else is in the middle lane. I mean, look at that, Brandon Gaunt's up here, Harrison Rhodes. It's okay, don't need, oh my God. I am in a bit of trouble here. I am still stuck in the middle. Brad Keselowski all the way to my outside lane, wow. That little move I got off the bottom lane and Denny Hamlin took advantage of it. He's to the race lead. I'm trying to hang into the top 10. It's okay. I got a fast car. I feel like I can get back up to the front. I mean, look at this. Look at the run I'm getting here. Who is that going for the lead? I can't tell. It's a red car. I think it's a red car. I think it's Suarez actually going for the lead. All right, Trevor Bain, you need to hit the gas, dude. Wow, it's Hamlin dropping, too. Wow, he got left in the dust. I am still in the middle three wide between Chase Elliott and Trevor Bain. Okay, so far, so good. Eight laps to go. Look at this run I got on Hamlin. Oh, I get underneath him. There we go. It's for a top five spot. Oh, yeah, I should be all right to get back up to the front. How about Brendan Gaughan and Harrison Rhodes, third and fourth, and Daniel Suarez leading? Oh, man, look at this run I got here. Wow, look at the run I get here. It's not going to work, though. I didn't want to run in the back of Brendan Gaughan, though, but I had such a huge run. Okay, can I get behind him? Yes. Yes. 
Seven laps to go. Look at that. Look at the pass I'm trying to make on Brendan Gaughan on the outside. Well, Suarez would have helped me out, actually, because Suarez did move up high. But he went back down to the bottom. I had to get back down to the bottom before Harrison Rhodes got there. Okay, am I going to have this run on the back straightway again? Yes, I am. Look at this. I mean, this is crazy. There goes Kyle Busch for the race lead. Oh, this might help me out. Oh, nope. Come on, Suarez. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Harrison Rhodes is coming. Ah, uh, damn it. Couldn't get back down to bottom. I thought Brandon Gaughan was going to clear me. All right. Well, I'm in a situation here. Can't get to the bottom lane right now because Suarez is there. Brandon Gaughan's there. All right. Or let's make it three wide for the second spot. Split the middle. And Daniel Suarez is going to drop like a rock. I might drop like a rock. I got nobody on the bottom lane or on the middle lane with me. Oh, please. Me and Daniel Suarez dropping back. Damn, it seems like I get this run down the back straightway. It seems like I get a lot of speed on the back straightway. Oh, Brendan Gunn dropping back. Here comes Harrison Rhodes for second. This is going to be a good... I mean, I'm not cutting anything because we're battling here. Five laps to go here at Talladega Super Speedway. Oh, man. Three wide in the middle. Bubba Wallace all of a sudden in the top five. Here comes Austin Dillon now. It's just that these, the bottom lane is just hogging. The, the, everybody in the bottom lane. Well, not everybody, but drivers in the bottom lane, they're hogging up the bottom lane. I can't get down there. See, Suarez is there. I can't. If I get a run on him, and I can't get underneath him. Oh, come on, Suarez. Hit the gas, dude. Had such a run on him, but I can't do anything. Get underneath him. Thank you. I'm going to have to slowly do that. Here comes Harrison Rhodes for the lead. Oh, my God. I can't. I get a run, but I can't get to the bottom lane because Suarez and a couple other drivers wants to hog it up. Four to go. I want to win this race. How about Harrison Rose to the lead? Chase Elliott second, Bubba Wallace third, Kyle Busch is also going to drop back. I'm going to hang on the bottom lane right now. Okay, now underneath uh, Austin Dillon for the fourth spot. Here comes Chase Elliott for the race lead. Oh, look at this run I'm getting here. Look at this run. I'm telling you, this speed on the back straightaway. Getting a lot of speed on the back straightaway. Oh, three wide for the sixth spot. Chase Elliott's actually helping me out here with him being in the middle lane like that. Oh, but he's going to go back to the bottom lane before I even get up to second. Damn it. Ah. All right, I got to stop going to the middle lane. The bottom lane is just, it's, it's going to have to do. Damn it, Austin Dillon. I thought, no way. I thought Austin Dillon was going to, I thought he was going to get by me. And then all of a sudden he hit the brakes at the last second. I was going to get behind him, and then all of a sudden he hit the brakes in front of me. I don't understand that. I got a lot. I, Damn it. Oh, my God. What? That sucks, dude. Damn it. Austin Dillon, you asshole. I'm so glad I'm locked into the round of eight already because that made me mad. I have to hit the fix the damage. And Ryan Newman's out of the race. Wow. That sucks. He, Austin Dillon just hit the brakes in front of me, and now we're going into overtime here at Talladega. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Two laps to go. Austin Dillon just hit the brakes in front of me. Oh, he not in front of me, but he, it looked like he was going to get by me, and then I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to move down so I can, so I can get uh, behind him. And right behind him, all of a sudden he hit the brakes. Like, I didn't expect that. Like, I was moving down to get behind him as soon as he hit the brakes. And then that's when we made contact. Well, guys, there's going to be no Talladega victory. That sucks. I mean, I could put some blame on that. I mean, I, sh I wish I knew he was going to hit the brakes. Or else I would have not tried to move down behind him. Tell you what, Paul Menard is in trouble.
Because he came into this race 29 points back. Well, he's going to have a bad finish here. I mean, look at all the positions I'm getting. No, and that means I'm going to lose the top five in set of contract, too. I just realized that. Final lap here at Talladega. I mean, look at look how fast this... My car is so fast. It's getting up through the traffic really well. Who's that leading? Austin Dillon, of course. I don't want him to win, honestly. He just hit the brakes in front and beside me. Right, I should have this run on the back straightaway like I've been having all race long. Can I stay underneath Alex Bowman? Yeah, yeah. All right. Austin Dillon is going to win this race, huh? Off turn number four. Um, let's see. It looks like I might get 18th here if I can get a pass. DJ Kennington and Ryan Blaney. Yep. 18th place finish, what should have maybe been a win. That sucks. I, I won both stages, and then I couldn't finish it off. And Austin Dillon did win. What an ass. There was no reason for him to hit the brakes. It's not like the other two, three drivers in front of him hit the brakes. Austin Dillon, I think he advanced into the next round, too. He had to sabotage me to, to maybe... Is he in the next round? And that incentive contract's done, too. No, never mind. Oh, yeah, he's not in the playoffs. What am I talking about? I don't know why I thought... Maybe it's because I'm thinking real life that Austin Dillon was in the playoffs. I don't know why. Yeah, whatever, guys. I mean, I'm still advanced into the round of eight. But look at Daniel Suarez. Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr. looking bad right now. Only five points out. Uh, Ryan Blaney, he needs to win. And Paul Menard for sure needs to win at uh, Kansas. <sighs> I set the fastest lap of the race, too. My car was fast in this race. I mean, what? I started restart dead last and finished 18th in an overtime restart. That's how fast my car was. Unbelievable. Austin Dillon. Like I said, there was no reason for Austin Dillon to hit the brakes. He hit, he hit the brakes for no reason. Because he was clearly going to get past me. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to start moving down so I could get behind Austin Dillon and right behind him. No, as soon as I start moving down, he hit the brakes. And I made contact with him, and that's what created the wreck. The top five and set the contract done. Thanks, Austin Dillon, you asshole. Uh, oh, shut up, Kyle Bush. Whatever, I'm just going to apologize. I don't care. Oh, so next race is going to be at Kansas. Next video is going to be Kansas and Martinsville. Kansas, like I said, I don't have to worry about, but then the round of eight starts at Martinsville. So, guys, I will see you at Kansas.